Marianne Markowitz, Marianne Markowitz and Associates, your executive recruiter and coach. Today's session is how you want to use the example of planning your dream vacation with how you're going to create your dream job and your dream career. Okay. As always, plan to have a little bit of time have a pen and paper so you can jot down some ideas and reflect on how you are going to, again, move from I don't know to this is what I want, okay? So when it comes to planning your career, knowing what your personal preferences are puts you in charge. And, and there's always a dance in life between knowing, uh, being unhappy with things don't work out with your expectations, but start with the idea of these are the five things I want to look at in order to, again, pick that perfect job. The difference can be this. I interviewed a number of people back in December for a, a recruiting project in Houston and um, one of the young ladies, uh, I asked her, you know, what are you looking for? What kind of people do you want to work for? What kind of company? And her pat answer for everything was, I don't know. I'm really just going to take the first job I get an offer for. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> okay. And, but what if, you know, it's not aligning with what you want? She said, well, I just won't know until I get there. Setting that preference ahead of time. It's just like in the olden days, people would call a travel agent and they'd say, I want to book a, a trip. And if they said to the travel, you know, travel agent would say, well, where do you want to go? And they're like, I don't know. Well, the world is in, in, you know, there's just an infinite place and amount of places to go, types of trips, etc. Jobs are the same way, believe it or not. So we're going to start with what kind of people do you want to work with? So write number one, P. So we've got, we have five P's here. People, what kind of people do you want to work with? This helps so many people just clarify what they want. Many young professionals, if I ask them that question, it's like, do you want to be with other um, well-educated, you know, similar degree, similar education? Or like, yeah, okay. So they put that out there. So what kind of people do you want to work with? And what kind of values are you looking for? Do you want them to be this similar to yours? Again, we're always looking at the dance in life. We don't want to just stick with just people exactly like us. We want to be open to learning from others. All right. Think about the type of environment you want to work in. Do you want a place where... Um, it's, it's an open environment. Those are not so popular, but whatever. We'll use that as an example. I can tell you from personally, when I moved to Dallas and I worked at the Dallas Apparel Mart, there were no windows in that building. I loved my job, but I hated working there. <laughs> so that was something that when that part of my beginning career ended, it was like, okay, I have got to find a place where I at least have windows. Sounds like such a low bar, but it really does have a difference in what you start concentrating on. That's called our reticular activating system. Soon it's, it's like, um, oh, I want a new red Audi. Soon as you start thinking red Audi, you're going to notice them driving around prior to that. And, you know, there were probably 10 of them and you might not have seen them. Jobs and what you're focusing on will be the same way. So first of all, what kind of people do you want to work with? What kind of environment? What, what's the place like? And um, moving on to number three, what kind of projects do you want to work on? And um, think in terms of, you know, with the projects, are you um, wanting to work on things that are, um, you know, very project and task oriented? Or do you really like things that, um, you know, you have a little bit of ability to solve problems, but you have that um, uh, sense of the, um, the certainty, like you know what to expect. 
and, and this moves right into the process. You know, what, what kind of processes are you looking for? I know in the accounting world, generalization, but many times when, when I worked um, at Robert Half and I was interviewing just tons of people, I would ask people, what do you want to be doing Monday morning? And I, we could tell by their answer where, where their preferences were. Some people said, I want to be able to have everything written down and this is exactly what I'm going to get done. And it was very um, structured. So do you need a place where the processes are more structured? Are you someone who works well solo? Are you someone who needs to be in a collaborative environment? And take those into consideration because if you're someone who likes solo and you're put into an office where it's, ooh, we gotta be all collaborative, you're probably not going to, um, it's just not gonna align with who you are. And so again, we're going to talk, we think about what kind of people do you want to work with? What kind of place? What's the environment like? What are the projects? And that moves nicely into the processes, structured, solo, familiar, routine. Think about this for you personally. I'm just giving you some of the ideas in my mind, but you can take this and, and cultivate it for yourself. And then last, what is your superpower? What is your strength? What do you want to be able to come to the office and share as your strength? And think of when you're looking for a new job, what do I have to bring to this company? Coming from that position versus I want, want, want. You're just going to come through as someone who is wanting to, to learn more, give more, and it's amazing when we work together on a coaching aspect, how bringing that into the conversation completely changes how people are looking at companies. So what's your strength? What's your superpower? What do you bring in there? How do you identify that? You know, some of us um, know, don't know, maybe we're afraid to own it then go to your past um, supervisors, peers, and say, hmm, I'm, uh, what do you see as my strengths? And, and this is something that I love asking people. You know, if I call one of your references, what are they going to tell me about you? And it, again, it just changes the conversation totally. So think in terms of what are my superpowers and what am I going to bring bring to that office? And who are two people who are going to benefit from me being there? That's just such a beautiful way to, again, think in terms of what am I bringing to the table instead of being greedy, needy, and, and um, yeah, well, you get the point. <laughs> so think about, you know, how does understanding who I am help me look for that job? And what, what in, what's a valuable insight that you've gained from this 5, 10, 15 minute video? And to what extent does your current role align with your preferences? And very often people will come and they'll say, oh, I'm just so unhappy. And, and we can start digging down and, and sometimes it's a mindset. And sometimes it really is. We've just got that disconnect with, with um, who these people are and, and who you want to be. So think in terms of who do I have to be in order to accomplish attaining those five Ps, my people, places, projects, process, and what's my superpower. All right. I hope this is helpful and um, give it a like if you did. Bye.